the guys welcome back to my channel I'm back on the stone of you guys on this nice day today's video is another little music rewind in my last video I named off a couple songs that I was listening to back in 2015 and 2016 but this video will be exploring 2017 2018 this part of my life was a transition so you guys want to see how it go from this type of music to this type of music you know this is when I got into my fuckery music type stage and plus during this time this is when mumble rap was becoming normal <laughs> you know people are talking shit about it Joe Budden you know music critics they're they're not liking this new style of mumble music I feel like the whole conversation about mumble music came about when Joe Budden sat down with Little Yachty and you know Joe Budden was real mad <laughs> he was real pressed that his old ass had to work twice as hard as Little Yachty my nigga, chill. Yeah, hold up. Yo, I'm just yeah. playing. But then again, you can't really get mad at little Yachty. You need to get mad at the consumers. <laughs> These consumers, their attention spams, the shit that they are more attracted to, the shit that they will put more time into, is toxic and easy. Mumble rap music. <laughs> I'm not trying to say little Yachty started this whole movement. But he definitely was a part of starting this shit up. I love going back in my music library and just exploring my old songs. Sometimes I forget about them. Listening to today's music, you know, everybody listening to some fuckery type shit. But, you know, it's good to explore what you used to listen to. Just to remind yourself of what type of person you are. Because I feel like music is a way to express yourself. And, you know, certain music bring out certain type of moods. I got my little drink, got a little douce, some peach margarita mix, um, uh, a fucking tablespoon of ginger. I love ginger though, but it is type strong, but I love ginger. But yeah, this shit good as hell. And I got my spliff, y'all. I didn't even spark it. <gasps> Yo, this different. Usually I already have my spliff sparked up, already halfway done. Can't even finish the whole fucking video. Like, <laughs> hold on, let me like this up. Let me catch up. Let me catch up. Make sure y'all lighten your splints, your blunts, your bowls, whatever y'all smoke out there. All right, so let's start off this video with Little Yachty. Speaking of him, in 2018, Little Yachty dropped the Little Boat 2 album, and that whole album is fire. But I'm just gonna name one song because I don't want this video to be too long. So it is gonna be different types of albums but i'm just gonna name one just for the purpose of this video i don't want to bore y'all i just want to inform y'all <laughs> and encourage y'all to go listen to these music because i already know i'm about to get a copyright claim mm -hmm. so if you're watching this video i do not own any rights to these songs i am simply promoting it for people to listen to digest real music <laughs> well half of it is real music <laughs> So this song is called 66. It has Trippy Red on it, as you guys just heard. <laughs> Trippy Red? Hold up. Did he drop an album during this time frame? Even though Trippy Red look weird, <laughs> he's a motherfucking artist. He's versatile as hell. He can go from screaming into the mic to singing like this to rapping some real ass shit. This nigga dropped three albums between 2017 and 2018. I didn't add this shit, y'all. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Let's go to Trippy. Every time I get into my car, ADHD by Kendrick Lamar play and an Alley 3. Now, why the fuck you wanna test me? I'll hit you with the right and the left D. Trippy fire, little yachty fire, Chief Keith fire too. Uh uh, with Playboy Cardi. 2017 was Playboy Cardi's year. But hold on, I'm not I'm not I'm not on Playboy Cardi yet. Uh uh, by Chief Keith. <laughs> Changing. 
this is why this is why I say in 2017 2018 it was a whole transition you know in high school and a little bit of college early college I was more of like a lyrical type of person like I was inside my box like you can't tell me shit you playing some fuckery ass shit around me turn that shit off play some goddamn Kendrick but I mean I like to I used to <laughs> only listen to you know shit that I really felt and that was meaningful but now I'm becoming a little bit of open-minded more because that's just me my character i'm an open-minded person you know sometimes i can trap sometimes i could be trapped in my box but i also realize that shit and open up my you know my box for other shit to see i ain't played no lyrical shit yet <laughs> i'm playing all these hype songs because you know I, I really need to be hyped up right now so hold on hold on hold on, hold on. <laughs> since we in this mood let me play uh uh thoughts by XXX Taxion and Trippy Red. Hey, uh, do you like to take the fish from the back and she like, oh, ooh, way. mentioned Pierre board <laughs> but Pierre I'm telling you Pierre changed my life this he is what caused my transition and I love it like after I really digest and seen Pierre for what he is if you guys see his documentary on YouTube and seeing that he actually slept in the studio this nigga just left everything that he had back home and then went to another state and crashed in the studio until he made it that shit is dedication. I just love his beats. Most of these songs I'm about to play is his beats. Let me slow it down. Let me slow it down because I feel like I'm all hyped up. I'm all hyped up. You know, I'm in the mood right now. So let me show y'all my, my, I guess, more singing vibe in 2017. This artist is called IMDDB. I mentioned her before. She from overseas, UK, and I love her music, her accent, what she say. It's just like Kendrick to me. Like I could really relate to what they're saying. But trophy. You, yeah, yeah, you, yeah, you, it's that next group is called Oshun. Oshun is what inspired me to start my whole spiritual journey. They're kind of the reason why I got my locks. I just felt like I was definitely transitioning. I felt like I was definitely elevating. And Oshun was a group that just felt on my pain. Especially with me going through like a love situation. They talk about social issues, uplifting yourself in their songs but they also talk about love shit and guys and stuff and during that time i was going through it with this guy so like this shit their songs was hitting their songs is on motherfucking point their songs is on motherfucking point at that time when i tell y'all <laughs> so this song i'm about to play is called parts <laughs> saying is don't blame the people that love you that surround you 
be mad at your fucking self <laughs> like see the situation for what it is and make the change that you want instead of being mad at the world saying oh this world is racist i can't get a job da, 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 da. the world is against you no make the difference that you want if you really want to make that difference then you will make that difference instead of saying you can't you can most definitely do something and in that bar that's what the fuck she said don't blame the niggas that you came with because it ain't their fault it's your fault it's your fault why you're not in the place that you want to be it's not them it's not them <laughs> food for thought <laughs> during 2017 2018 kendrick dropped damn love even though i'm lacking something even though i'm working on something in my life and it's causing like a, a di disruption in my friendship relationship do you still love me <laughs> like do you would you still love me through all of this or is it just about sex and you know the quick satisfaction so that's what i got from the song i really felt that shit the next song i'm gonna play is by SZA. She dropped the whole Control album, her supposed last album. I don't know. I don't know what the fuck she's doing. But <laughs> my favorite song on that whole album, that whole album fire, by the way. But the song that just that be stuck in my mind each and every day is Gogina. Probably came from my inner circle and it usually come from your inner circle and the lack thereof and I don't know if I can trust. I'm trying so hard not to rap the whole song <laughs> so y'all could hear the song but damn these songs are just so fire like it's a vibe all right y'all let's bring it up let's bring up the mood just a little bit let's bring up the mood just a little bit fierce wheel by young nudie this song hold up hold up fierce wheel wait two songs two songs i'm about to mention by young nudie <laughs> Pass that bitch and that be cause I just slide on that bitch That's what happened and I don't love a hoe But I just love snatching and I see the blues Hey, man Uh-huh Okay, somebody It goes motherfucking hard <laughs> That should be having me under a controlled spell Since we already in the Pierre Playboy Cardi conversation. Hold on, I'm about to play right now. There is so many songs by Playboy Cardi that I love. Not his recent shit. Sorry, but that last album was a motherfucking L. He should have just dropped the leak songs that was originally supposed to be on Whole Lot of Red. He should have just did that. Because those songs motherfucking fire. The unreleased version of Whole Lot of Red. Bye, Garrett, 10 out of 10. But this new version of Whole Lot of Red, I, I don't know what the fuck that shit is on. <laughs> DJ Academic said it was a motherfucking classic. Classic? I ain't dick riding no nigga. <laughs> that ain't no motherfucking classic album. What's classic is Playboy Cardi self titled. What's classic is Die Lit. Okay, and speaking of dialect, right now, too fire, y'all. I gotta wrap this video up. Oh my god, two more songs, and then that's it. That's it. I gotta go to the store and get some more papers. I don't know how I'm out of papers. Like, what the fuck? But since we talking about... Since we talk about Pierre Bowerman, you know, this year he didn't really drop a full album, but he dropped some, you know, some snippets. Wait, hold up. Did he, he probably dropped a mixtape album on SoundCloud. But fuck it, fuck it. This song I'm about to mention right now, Hack My Instagram. Oh my God, this song is bringing back so many memories right now. She complaining, TSA. This song, this song puts me in two different types of moods. I'm about to tell y'all 
y'all one right now. The first one, <laughs> I feel like I hear my echo. Am I yelling? <laughs> this shit just fire. But listen, the first move. <laughs> this shit might seem kind of fucked up, but during this time, I was dealing with this fucking ass nigga, right? <laughs> I just felt like he kind of felt like this song. <laughs> I felt like he sickly felt that. But it's all right, though. Because the second mood is, <laughs> I got my lick back. So to wrap up this video, because I need to go to the store. Damn, y'all. It's so many songs. I'm sorry, y'all. Like, I'm missing out on so many songs right now. I've been fucking babbling. Um. <laughs> Wait. Three more songs. <laughs> three more songs. And that's it. Wait, nah. Three, three is OD. <laughs> alright, alright. I'll make a part two to this video. I'm, I'm just about to cut it right here. Oh my god. If y'all want a part two to this video, make sure y'all like, comment, and subscribe. Like, because I got some fire-ass songs. Like, I got some songs. I got some artists that I didn't even mention yet. Like, I, I want to put y'all on. Feel me? So if y'all want this video, let me know. Show me that y'all want to see this, okay? And if y'all want to see more stoner shit, like up, comment too. Alright? But yeah, I'll just see you guys in the next one, okay? Later.